it is great to be here. These little um, steps to to improve the mission that has been entrusted to you are important. And though it's, it's a, a statue of the Lord Jesus, but very meaningful to us for what we do in serving people here. And so uh, let us begin in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. The grace and peace of God our Father and our Lord Jesus Christ, the image of the unseen God be with you all. Dear sisters and brothers, we have genuine reason to rejoice this morning, this afternoon, because we are about to bless this image of our Lord Jesus Christ. As we already said in the greeting, the unseen God, because we know about him, but we don't see him physically as we see one another. But we know that he was in our midst, he took flesh, and came to show us the way, the truth, and the life. So, we, thinking of him, recall when he said in the gospel, when I was hungry and thirsty, When I was hungry and thirsty, and then we know the answer. You did it to me. This image honors above all the truth that Christ, that we don't see, in mysterious ways becomes visible and tangible to us in the people that we serve. And this image that I'm going to bless today will be a reminder to you, but also to those who come and wonder why, why you do what you do. Why to come here? They know that they are in need. But in, in mysterious ways, they can reflect that it is out of deeper motivation of why we give water to the thirsty and clothing to the naked, etc. The eternal Son of God who came down to the womb of the Virgin Mary is the sign and sacrament of God the Father. As Christ himself said, he who sees me sees the Father. Therefore, when we honor this image and we reflect in what it means to us in our mission, we will be impregnated of the light of God in Christ Jesus because he reigns forever with the Father and the Holy Spirit. As you hear the, this reading from the Gospel, may you connect in your mind and in your heart with the person of Jesus, not only the words of the gospel, but the person of Christ. When the Son of Man comes in his glory, and all the angels with him, he will sit upon his glorious throne, and all the nations will be established before him, and he will separate them from one another. As a shepherd separates the sheep from the goats, he will place the sheep on his right and the goats on his left. Then the king will say to those on his right, Come, you who are blessed by my father, inherit the kingdom prepared for you from the foundation of the world. For I was hungry, and you gave me food. I was thirsty, and you gave me drink. 
a stranger, and you welcomed me, naked, and you clothed me, ill, and you cared for me, in prison, and you visited me. Then the righteous will answer him and say, Lord, when did we see you hungry and feed you, or thirsty and give you drink? When did we see you a stranger and welcome you, or naked and clothe you? When did we see you ill or in prison and visit you? And the king will say to them in reply, Amen. I say to you, whatever you did for one of these least brothers of mine, you did for me. Our response will be, Our Lord, our God, how wonderful your name in all the earth. O oh Lord, our God, how wonderful your name in all the earth. When I behold your heavens, the work of your fingers, the moon and the stars which you set in place, what is man that you should be mindful of him, or the son of man that you should care for him? Our, our Lord, Lord, our God, our God how, how wonderful, wonderful your, your name is in all, all the earth. earth. You have made him little less than the angels and crowned him with glory and honor. You have given him rule over the works of your hands. O our Lord, Lord, our God, God how, how wonderful, wonderful is your name in, in all the earth. earth. Let us pray to God the Father who has given us the word, Jesus, through whom all things were made and in whom they have their being. He is our Savior and Redeemer. Our answer is, Lord, hear our prayer. Father, your Son is boundless wisdom and the truth above all truths. Grant that we may grow in our knowledge of him and the desire to remain united to him. Amen. Father, you have sent your Son into the world and raised him up to glory. Grant us the joy of having Christ with us all the days of our life. Father, you have anointed Christ as priest, king, and prophet. Grant that Christ may regard us as pleasing offerings, as faithful subjects, and as attentive listeners. Father, it is your will that in Christ we should have a teacher who is gentle and humble of heart. Grant that we may obediently learn from his kindness and his goodness. Father, through the blood of Christ's cross, you have reconciled all things to yourself. Make us instruments of your peace and reconciliation. Father, in the mysterious design of your providence, you willed our Savior to stand on the cross as the, as the victory of our death and hell. Grant us that we may die with him so that we may also rise with him. Father, we ask you to bless abundantly the work of Catholic charities throughout the world and here in San Antonio. May those who you call to work in Catholic charities be true witness of your love. Let us pray to the Lord. beyond our sight out of your great love you have revealed yourself in the person of Christ may those who have trapped this image of your son show him honor by growing in his likeness who is Lord forever and ever
carry in our, in our own lives a tremendous, tremendous task. grow in the likeness of God. The mission could be fulfilled if we don't lose sight or we don't move away from that case. God is with us. May the peace of God, which surpasses all understanding, keep your minds and hearts in the knowledge and love of, of God and of His Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, now and forever. Amen. And may Almighty God bless you and all those who are served through Catholic charities in all our services and sites. The Father the Son, and the Holy Spirit. May we live in peace. Amen. Thank you. Thank you. We have more inspiration now. We have. Thank you, Archbishop. For all of us, this is a great representation of Jesus, the status quo when I was hungry and thirsty. It is inspired by the Gospel of Matthew 25, 40. And this sculpture is a visual representation of charity. And I think all of us are about charity. It tells us that we need to see Christ in the poor and the hungry, and that we should see our acts of kindness to them as kindness to him. The statue is about Catholic charities, St. PJ's Sidon Home, San Antonio Bertulas, Guadalupe Community Center, and any entity that serves the poor in this diocese. It means and it represents the people we serve. And as we see Jesus behind me right now, mm -hmm. suffered. And I will ask you to think about our clients as people who have suffered, and we are here for them. It's a beautiful statue, and I would ask all of you, if you want to just please come and, and see, and see his hands, and see his face. And I'm sure that it will speak to you tremendously. Thank you, Archbishop, for being here today, and thank you, all of you, for the work you do for Catholic Charities. God bless.